we look at a few minor changes to the APA referencing style. From time to time, the APA updates its style guide, and this was done in 2009. These updates are to accommodate things which were not covered in the previous style guide. This is usually in the area of electronic referencing, but can cover other things. The changes incorporated in 2009 affect retrieval date for online sources, cities, many authors, database names, DOI or Digital Object Identifier, and minor changes on the format of thesis and dissertations, DVDs, miscellaneous sources, and archival documents. Because the sixth edition of the APA was published very recently, most referencing guides and course materials still use the fifth edition. For the time being, use only the sixth edition if your lecturer or paper coordinator has specifically requested it. Okay, so let's look at the changes. The APA 5th edition requires a date of retrieval before a URL for an electronic source. The 6th edition does not include the retrieval date, unless the source is likely to change often. Instead, retrieved from is used. Referencing the City of Publication The APA 5th edition does not require a state or country if the city is famous for publishing, as was the case previously. The 6th edition always includes a country, if the city is not American, or a two-letter state code, if the city is American. When there are many authors, in the reference list, APA 5th edition puts et al after the 6th author when there are 7 or more authors. The 6th edition uses three dots instead, replacing all authors between the 6th author and the last author. So, if there are up to 7 authors, all of their names are spelled out in the reference list. Let's look at these examples. database names. The APA 5th edition can include database names when citing journals. The 6th edition does not include database information. Instead, the homepage URL of the journal is used. Note that if a DOI or a digital object identifier is available, it should be used instead of the URL. If both the journal's URL and DOI are unavailable, treat the source as you would an offline journal. Let's look at the DOI now. The APA 6th edition puts increased emphasis on the digital object identifier as the best way to identify an online source. Many online journal entries now include a DOI, either with the copyright information or in the online citation. If a DOI is present, it should be used instead of other retrieval information. The DOI can be looked up via this link www.crossref.org Let's now look at some minor changes for thesis and dissertations. In the fifth edition, the words unpublished doctoral dissertation 
or unpublished master's thesis are placed after the title. In the sixth edition, this text is placed in brackets. The sixth edition manual also gives information on citing theses and dissertations from online, institutional, or commercial databases. Please refer to the manual for further details. The fifth edition describes ways to reference motion pictures, television broadcasts, and other audiovisual material. The type of source is identified in square brackets after the title, for instance, for a motion picture. As seen in this example, in the author field, identify the director or producer or both. Provide the year of filming, the motion picture's country of origin, and the motion picture studio. For TV broadcasts, the format is as follows. So, as you can see, referencing audiovisual sources remains essentially the same as before, except a new category for DVDs has been introduced. What about minor changes from miscellaneous sources? The fifth edition identifies certain non-standard source types in square brackets after the title. This is often used for gray literature, such as annual reports and brochures. Here is an example of an annual report. The sixth edition includes many new source types many relating to online materials, such as audio podcasts, video webcasts, lecture notes, and supplemental material. Audio podcasts are formatted in this manner. Video webcasts are formatted in a similar way to the television broadcast. For lecture notes, depending on whether they are in print version or electronic version, note the following differences. After the phrase, retrieved from, place the URL from where you downloaded the slides. I hope this has helped you with being aware of the minor changes to APA referencing. Good luck!